different works. I try to um, integrate an element of unpredictability within my creative process. And um, I usually try to focus on a certain object or material or a certain subject and let it express itself. And I try to get myself my own arbitrary choices out of the way and just focus on revealing a certain character or a certain behavior of an object or a material. I usually try to um, introduce the process by showing the different variables. You see my hands putting down the tape rolls or my hands tearing up the paper. So I, or I can use it as a ending, as a punchline to reveal the process at the end. But I, I always try to, to let people experience the, the materials and the objects that they already know, maybe in a new way. My master class is looking at some of the creative processes and technology that I use in my work. And it's a bit about how, I, how coding software is an integral part of my creative process, both in music and sound, and how I dialogue with the, the code that I create. My uh, visual work uh, is, is highly abstracted, at least at this point in my uh, practice. Of course, music in some ways is already highly abstracted, but I'm, um, I'm even moving away from the domain of notes. I come more out of the avant-garde where we might be using just sounds and textures in a broader way and shaping art and expression with those. Uh, I did art school uh, before I did painting, drawing, and then I started to do animation in 97 and continued in 98 to do abstract animation and then from then on start to work. So I've been professional for 15 years now. The thing is, is uh, about the sound, if it is music or sounds and how you can interpret them differently with the image. So if you would close your eyes, what would you imagine if you would let your thoughts run free? I'm going to talk about the influence of the black square, specifically on some animated films. So in this presentation, the abstract painting of a square is, is used as a point of departure to discuss some contemporary abstract animations, which in a sense revisit some of, the, um, some of animation's purest views, such as you know, just using pure form, colour, sound, um, nothing representational. I'm interested in creating complexity that is comparable to nature, but ultimately done with digital and today's technology. I'm looking for creating abstract worlds that are catching the viewer's attention. All the tools that are available in the digital animation, they have a certain footprint or fingerprint. If you don't use them the way they are programmed to be, there's a possibility to create something that is unique. Ultimately, I'm searching for something sublime within the possibilities of technology and centuries of art, of painting, of sculpture to put it into today's idea of something that is fascinating, that's confusing, and you can call this beauty in the end, but we define beauty on very different levels. The lecture is, uh, as almost every masterclass here, mostly about my own work in relationship to my research uh, as an academic person as an art historian and film historian. So I'm going to talk about how I developed my interest in abstract film and how it led me to actually making abstract films. Abstract art is one of the fields of my interest, especially since as a filmmaker, I'm very much interested in so-called spontaneous cinema or improvised cinema. Abstraction is actually this sort of film that can be really exercised as an improvised film. Me dedico tanto a la música como al video, a un poco a la performance, a la fotografía. También me dedico a, sobre todo a dar soporte técnico como técnico de video mapping. Aquí vine básicamente a hablar de mi trabajo más experimental, que tiene más que ver con el festival. Quizás tengo más que ver con planteamientos más minimalistas, ¿vale? de, de trabajar con poquitas cosas e intentar darle, dar forma a algo grande con, con pocos medios. We work together in, in 
terms of visuals and music, and the visuals are generated by the technology video feedback. Sometimes the music is directing the image, and sometimes the image is directing the music. My masterclass was called uh, Recipes for Reconstruction, uh, Creating um, Abstracts from the Real World. It's based on a book that I wrote between 2007 and 2010. This is the recipe book for uh, simple strategies to take found footage and uh, apply certain chemicals and biological formulas to, to make it into an abstract film. I work in a very intimate way. Uh, which means I put the film in front of me and I paint and I scratch on film. The technique has been around for a long time, but um, I love the results, you know. The crackle of the paint, the density of the paint, the changes in color, the quick movements, it's, it's a really complex outcome for a very, very simple technique. My masterclass is called The Abstract Character and it's about the abstract um, animation that you find in classical character animation. Abstract animation has become very important to my work for the last four years, I'd say. So I don't really do a great deal of representational animation anymore. Um, I mainly make very short, abstract, um, drawn pieces. Cały problem zawiera się w tym, że zajmuje się energetycznością. Energia nie potrzebuje języka. Język ją krępuje, przeszkadza. Energia jako środek wyrazu rezygnuje z wszelakich po prostu ograniczeń. Dlatego przez energię trzeba było filmowi przywalić. I am old enough to have started this process before computers were invented. So initially I did all of this stuff with the paper and pencil. We're still mesmerized by the power of, of the computer. I don't know how long it's going to take before computers kind of settle into their proper place and we get some balance. Even in the animation that I do, there's some primal aspects of it. Motion, the sound, of course sound and music are completely emotional. That's an emotional art form. I'm leveraging the, the power of music because of the way that it touches our hearts. And there is a brain in the heart. I think of animation as primal form of life. It's my primal piece of me talking to the primal piece of you, even though neither of us maybe are conscious of it. Oh, oh.